Hey guys, the objective of this video is to look at the crack section at 30 years sagging. Once again, the only difference between this type of problem at 30 years versus 28 years is going to be the N, which is the 16.6, .6, which is just going to give us a different amount of um, replacement concrete at the top and bottom. But the process between this at 30 years and at 28 days, the cracked Y and I value is the exact same. So let's go on. The way it works is that we assume a neutral axis depth. We're going to assume ours to be in the um, flange over here. The reason we do is because this is sagging. We know that if we look at a sagging beam, so it's going to bend something like this, okay, which means that the bottom will crack because that's in tension, whereas the top is in compression, so that will um, sustain. So we know that we're going to have some remaining concrete everything else will crack so the red is denoting what is remaining so we're going to call that y bar which is the distance to the neutral axis which is at this interface between cracked and uncracked so the first thing we're going to do is find the replacement concrete uh, concrete from steel so the area of the top steel so we had um, n20 bars at the top here so the area is going to be 16.6 minus 1 by 2 by pi by um, these were n20 so it's going to be 10 squared once again all this is is just the area by 2 2 bars multiplying by the 16.6 factor to give, give us the correct ratio subtracting 1 to replace the voids so if you work this out we would get 9801.8 millimeters squared now the area of bottom steel what we're going to assume is that because this is um, cr it's all cracked here, we don't need to replace these voids, okay? They're cracked, they're gone, okay? So there's no need to replace these voids, which means that the replacement area is going to be 16.6. .6. We don't have to subtract off one because we're not filling any voids. By 2 by pi by, these were N28 bars, so multiplied by 14 squared, 